okay for python coding just go to the search panel and write ide and press this icon and this is known as a python shell and mine is python 3.7.2 and make sure that you have downloaded the latest version and now uh, let me tell you one thing about this pi serial package now to install the pi serial package you can go to youtube and write uh, how to download this I will let me tell you about the verification that you have successfully downloaded and installed this pi serial package for that you need to write import serial and press enter now if you are getting no error it means that you have successfully installed that pi serial package on your system now let's quickly save the file and start coding in python we'll go towards the folder arduino code so here we will save uh, let me save it as uh, python code now now as I told you before that we will be using that uh, pi serial package in our code so for that we will include first the library and this is how you do it in python by writing import serial and then we will create an object of that serial class so this is how we do it I'm giving I'm calling my object as uh, Arduino and that is equal to serial dot serial function and here it consists of two parameters in the second you pass the data transmission rate which is the same as you have saw in saw in uh, Arduino sketch and in the first parameter you write uh, about the name of your port which is mine is com port 1 now you can search for your port name by going towards the Arduino code and in the tool section you can see here it minus com1 you can check yours and write accordingly in the python code the next part is we need to give some delay before sending the command to arduino and for that delay let's give it uh, two seconds and when we are using this time class function so for that we also need to write import time and why we are giving this delay because uh, for the connection to be get established before we are sending the commands and here you can see uh, in the in this link about the time dot sleeve function and why we are giving the delay let's continue our code the next part is to print the statement with let's say enter one to press oh sorry enter one to <laughs> turn on LED and zero to turn off LED okay so obviously we are then uh, telling user to enter the command so for that we need to store that command in a variable let's call it data from user and this is how you take command from user in python by writing the input function the next part is we need to take input again and again so we will be using the while loop here and in python you don't need to write parentheses but just write this one it will uh, run again and again forever and you need to write this colon also and here in Python we don't use braces so we need to give the indentation first yeah the next part is of uh, if and else statement and this is the same as we did in Arduino sketch. Let's quickly cover this up. If data from user equals one, we will send data to Arduino by using our Arduino object 
and the function Arduino right one and we'll print our in our Python shell that LED is turn on the next part is the same but for else if and for else if make sure you la you write el if in python you write else if as this el if and the same thing data from user equals zero send command arduino dot write zero and then print LED is you don't have to write is I think so <laughs> LED turn off sorry for my poor English my English is not uh, English is not my first language uh, but I know that you can understand what is happening in the coding board and we are done now let's uh, run this module and it's working yep and this is what I need to tell you why we are getting this error See, it says that Unicode strings are not supported in this Python 3 version. Please encode to bytes. Now, how we will tackle this error? So, I searched uh, on the internet about this thing and I got to know that in Python 3.x, means the version of Python, the strings are Unicode by default. When sending data to Arduino, they have to be converted to bytes. And this can be done by prefixing the string with B. So this is what we need to write B here before sending the data. So let's write this thing in our write function parameter B here and B here. And then let's run it again. And it ran successfully. Winter 1. And as you can see on the screen, that our LED is turned on. Let's make it off, on, off, on. And that's it. And our job is done. Thank you for watching this uh, tutorial.